In Nigeria, Nigerian soils are low to moderate infertility. They support a wide range of crops, of course, as well as livestock by implication. And they have different nutritional problems depending on the location. In the northern part of the country, it's a problem of low nitrogen and phosphorus as well as zinc. In the southern part of the country, it's a problem of phosphorus, the potassium level is pretty high, but generally the challenges are that of nutrient mining. Because the fertilizer use as in the entire of Africa is pretty low. It's about 13 kg in Nigeria, uh, total nutrients per hectare. So, you also have the issue of acidity in southern part of the country where rainfall is very high. And then the extreme north, there's a problem of alkalinity because of low rainfall. And in those areas, you have a, a lot of irrigation. Water management can be a problem, and leading to um, alkaline conditions. Again, you have excessive soil erosion, mostly in the southern part of the country, but isolated cases in other parts of the country. But it's a major, major environmental problem in the south. A lot of gully erosions, you have as many as 1,000 plus erosion sites. And that is affecting soil use, land use, as well as soil management. Then in the north, you have the problem of desert encroachment. The desert is moving at a rate of 0 0.6 kilometers per year in another part of the country, moving southwards. So these are the major, major problems. I didn't talk about flooding. You must have read that um, two, three months ago, we, have, we had very serious flood in Nigeria, affecting about two million hectares of land in nine states. Again, it was a problem to farmers to maintain the soils and use them for agricultural productivity. So these are the, uh, the status and the challenges of uh, soil management. Yes. All these challenges are the priority areas that will need to be addressed and which currently government in Nigeria, government in Nigeria is aware of all those problems. And both at the federal and the state levels, to some extent at local government levels, there are various government interventions. One in the area of nutrient mining. The current administration in Nigeria, particularly in the Ministry of Agriculture, has made possible the availability of fertilizers to the peas and farmers using the voucher scheme. In the past, there were a lot of leakages in the sense that only 11% of the farmers get subsidized government fertilizers. The rest were not getting to farmers due to corruption. But there's a new policy targeted at ensuring that 90% of the farmers in the country, particularly those that are registered, get fertilizer. And the scheme put in place is the, um, the e-wallet using the cell phones to uh, 
make sure that farmers get the subsidy. Once they get information into their cell phones, they take it to the agro dealer and then they get the fertilizers. So it's working. Secondly, government has approved a national soil survey program to be carried out that would do a detailed assessment of the uh, nutrient levels in, you know, and management strategies all aimed at producing a digitized soil map of the country. It's, it's a project that is going to run over a 10, 15 year period. Um, this is not to, and then of course from there, very essential soil information will be generated that will be used in formulating site and crop specific fertilizer recommendations, you know, to make sure that um, the environment is taken into uh, consideration. Then there are interventions from donor partners, like the World Bank is, is assisting in addressing the problem of erosion. Although there is, um, um, there is a unit called the uh, Ecological Fund that make funds available you know, at the state level to address, but like I said, the World Bank came in recently uh, to, to also help. In the case of desert encroachment, Nigeria is a signatory to the Green World Sahara Initiative, which is being driven by the African Union to also um, address the issue of desert encroachment by establishing shelter belts, and making sure that farmers in those areas uh, remain on the farm, you know, remain in their areas while planting out trees and, you know, it's an uh, African Union uh, initiative. For acidity, again, government is supporting the integration of lime into the fertilizer uh, program, you know, um, making sure that uh, all those areas that are under acidic condition uh, get the required input to be able to make the soils uh, productive. So there's a conscious effort. Uh, the only thing is government cannot, cannot do all this is alone. Um, just the way the World Bank is coming to help in the area of erosion. Uh, government will be interested in having international donors to also come in to assist in other areas. In fact, uh, Nigeria is excited that um, FAO came up with this idea of uh, global soil partnership because it's going to bring together all partners working in the area of soil management uh, so that the uh, efforts are, um, are united and there's going to be a lot of synergism. People bring whatever they've been doing in terms of kits, tools, you know, on the table. And, and partners would, would can choose from the basket of options and see what can be upscaled in, in, into their own countries. Um, because right now, there are different partners working, you know, the information is so diffuse. You are told to check this website, check that website. If all these partners come together under this partnership, I, I think it's going, to, it's going to accelerate the rate of redressing the problem of soil degradation in Africa and you know, the rest of the world, particularly for those who, who have keyed into the partnership. So I think it's a nice idea and like the DG uh, of FAO said, uh, was it yesterday or two days ago? Uh, all countries who are members, not only of the FAO Council, but all countries of the world should, members, should be members of this partnership. 
along with uh, national associations, NGOs, and all that. But I think it's a nice thing to do. That should be encouraged. And I hope that the partnership will be funded, you know, so that it remains sustainable.